Hello everyone, this is Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings, and I am here to do another video. Actually, this is the second time I'm doing this video. Um, I watched Louisa Heinzel um, do a video on dyeing fabrics and laces and things. I don't have a lot of fabric, but I have lots of laces, so I've got them all spread out here, and they're a little dingy and a little yucky because I tried this yesterday. It didn't work at all. So I washed out what I could, dried the little pieces of laces, watched the video two or three more times. Now we're going to try it again. And so I'm videoing it this time so that if it doesn't work, maybe Louisa can help me. Uh, figure out what it is I'm doing wrong. So, here we go. The colors that she used are Lucky Clover, Peacock Feathers, Cracked Pistachio, and then she used uh, Brushed Corduroy. I don't have it in the oxide, but I have it here. And then she was going to do, uh, she did Rusty Hinge. Uh, let me see. I have one, I think in the um, regular ink. So let me see if I can get it out of here. My table is so small and my storage is so bad that it seems like um, I'm constantly rearranging and redoing things to find what I need. So let me try moving this. Let's see. I know I have some somewhere. So let's look over here. Rusty hands. There it is. So <clears throat> these two will be regular ink because I just don't have the oxide inks in those colors. Um, so hopefully that will work. Get all this piled back up over there. And uh, we're going to give this a go and see see how it works. That's Vintage Photo. So we're going to use these. And we're going to give it a whirl. So this is my Lucky Clover. So we're going to try to add some up here. Um, now, when I did this yesterday, it was a mess. I mean, a mess. So, I'm hoping that today will be, <laughs> it's got to be better, I think. So, let's do some peacock feathers. And some peacock feathers. Pull this back a little bit. So we're going to put some of this back here and some here. And then we have the cracked pistachio. So I'm going to put some of that in here. It's sort of a um, maybe more of a lighter. Kind of fancier green. Not really fancier, but let's put some of this down here. And let's, I think then she put in um, a little brushed corduroy in these areas. see what we shall see and then um, we'll do a little rusty hinge and I know on from watching her video that her rusty hinge turned out a little orange so 
that's okay. We'll give it a whirl. We'll see how we're doing. And then we'll kind of go from there. Now, on this other side that she did, she used a Villainous, Perf a villainous uh, Potion. I think I don't have that. Um, the closest thing I have to something like that would be uh, Wilted Violet. So I'm going to use some of that. We'll put some of that over here on this side. this back over we can get it back on our little paper a little bit forest moss and I have some forest moss here somewhere so we're going to use some of that I think some of my pieces are kind of small um, and they kind of keep getting bunched up, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put a little, um, no, sure I am, a little um, vintage photo on here. A little bit of that. Get up here. And we'll see. We will see. So let me get my water, and let's kind of see what happens here. One of the thoughts yesterday was that maybe I had put too much water in, in it. So I'm going to try to do a little less today and see if that helps and makes it a little better. And then I think let's kind of crunch this up a little bit. She kind of crunched it up and moved it. So we're going to try to do that. And see how that works. It's already looking better than it did yesterday. So, we'll put a little bit more on here. Now then, uh, <clears throat> she did use um, the re-inker, so let's see what I have here. Um, well, um, this is the Peacock Feathers. And I had Lucky Clover. Let me know. That, there's the cracked pistachio. And the Lucky Clover. So we started with Lucky Clover. So let's do a little bit of that. And she kind of pulled these up in these little peaks. And put just a little bit of color 
around some of these areas. So we'll see how we do with this. peacock feathers and this is one of my favorite colors I don't know why but I just absolutely love this color and then we'll do a little crack and see what that does for us. Get this on some of these little nubbins up here. Okay. And then we'll get a little more water. Let's zero it in a little bit more this time. Just a little bit. And let's see, she turned it all over so we can see the back. It's a little wet, but not, not terribly wet. Uh, so we'll put, um, let's get a little more um, wilted violet. Put a little bit more over here on this side. And let's see. Uh, Forest moss, I think, was the other one that she had. So let's see what we have in that department, if we have one. Um, maybe I don't have one of those. That's fine. We'll take another. Maybe it's free, so I wonder if it's... No, I don't have any. And that's black and black. No, I have lots of black and all of my pinks. Yeah, some forest moss. And like I said, this is the regular ink, so. Try a little bit of this. more water. Okay. Um. 
just a little bit more. Rusty hinge in here. Because I think it's kind of doing a lot of what it did yesterday. Which is kind of turning puke brown. this way and let's see I don't know let's try some hmm I just don't know I have some of this distress Gray, but it's gold, and so let me see how it happens if we put a little bit in a few little places. if we put a little bit of heat on it. Let's see how this works. We're going to add just a little bit of vintage photo up here. Give some of these little um, ridges here. See how that does. Add just a little bit more of that. Well, it definitely is better than what I did yesterday. So, that's got to be an improvement. Okay. So, I'm going to, I think I'm done. I'm going to, I'm not going to put any coffee on it this time. Um, I'm just going to leave it. We're going to let it, let it get dry. I'm going to take it up to the oven. We'll see how it works. And then I'll come back and we'll see what happens. See you in a minute. Don't go too far. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is what I ended up with. 
while it is still a little muddy, uh, got my strings tied together. It does have more color, and this will work. It has so much more color in it that I'm I'm excited that that it looks so much better. I have a new little package of a uh, little stack of of uh, lace here, and I'm gonna try it again. And I think this time maybe it'll get a little better. I think, I think, I think. I think I'm using too much water. So, but I'm going to keep these and they'll be fine. Uh, and so I'm going to give it a try again. And when I get finished with the next batch, I will add a little ending to this video and let you see if it gets any better. We'll see. Anyway, talk to y'all later. I'm back to inking. Bye. Okay, y'all. I am so excited. I am so excited. Uh, mine is, I, I, I did the third batch. The, fir, the second batch, you know, kind of turned out like this. And those are fine. They're going to be great. I'm going to use them with no problem. I am going to iron them and see if I can kind of flatten them a little bit. But you saw those. Then I went back and did a third batch. And y'all have got to see these. These are more my colors. And I think that might have been part of the problem. Is these are my these are my colors. I like the pinks and the purples and the light greens and the oranges and the yellows and so I used those. I didn't use any coffee. I did use a little bit of um, the gold distress spray. Very, you know, like here's a spot right here and there's a spot right there. But this lace started out as sort of a beige color. It was not white. So it sort of picked up some of those browns that were in the fibers. So, but look at these. Are these just not gorgeous? Louisa, I hope I made you proud. I know you don't like pink, but I love, love, love pink. And I am so happy with these. I cannot wait to use these. And so I wanted to show you. They're still just a tad wet. Uh, here is the uh, one of the others that I did in these colors. And I love this piece of lace. And this was just a remnant that I have. But look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? It just looks like a little pile of Easter eggs. And I'm just so happy with it. It is absolutely, to me, absolutely beautiful. I love it. I don't know whether I will ever in a million years of my life be able to replicate this look. But... By golly, for right now, I have these. This is one of my favorite pieces. And this was white. So it was sort of a bottom of a curtain. And it's got this little meshy stuff here. So if you can see that, that was a little tricky. But I put my colors on my flowers. And I have some yellows and some purples and some pinks. And it just... It just turned out so pretty, so pretty, and even the back side is pretty, and I just, I am so excited, I am so happy that I did not give up, because after the second batch, I was about ready to give up. <laughs> this is a piece of a curtain, has a hole in it, but that's okay, I can cut around that. This is a piece of curtain, and um, I love these little nubbins thingy doodads that are right here and so that is my second batch I absolutely love it for the uh, the drawing for this video because I always put one piece in my video this will be um this will be a wondrous Wednesday video and I will put in one of these four piece, smaller pieces in there. I'm sorry, but you can't have my big ones. I've worked too, too hard. <laughs>
so I hope you will forgive me and understand, but I will put one of the little ones in in the bag for the winner for that. Uh, so, I have finished. Now, if you would prefer to not have one of these lighter colored ones with the pretty pastels and stuff, I do have these green ones that I did. And like I said, I think I was just using too much water and the colors were just too dark for me. Um, I showed this to my daughter and she loved it. She thought it was great. So, I do have a few small pieces of this as well. And if you would rather, after I draw, if you would rather have one of these than the, the pinks and the purples and the yellows and the oranges, um, I can certainly do that. I will be glad to give, maybe I'll just do one of each even and, uh, and let you see how, how they compare. But anyway, this is how I spent my day today. Here's another big piece. And uh, this was not a favorite piece of lace of mine anyway. I got it in a kind of a grab bag thing, but it turned out very pretty. So we'll deal with that later. Um, Y'all take care. Please try this. Don't give up the first time. You will get some absolutely gorgeous results. So hang in there. We've made it almost through another week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.